partners from all regions of Zambia. And please note that the nominations and entries for the awards are still open for viewers watching. And uh, if you'd like to nominate or enter um, your farming business, kindly visit the Agricop newspaper website, which is www.agricopnews.com. Nominations and entries close on the 31st of May 2024. Uh, Sarah, so, sorry, Sarah, welcome to um, this AgriCorp Awards program. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. All right. Um, maybe for our viewers out there who would also want to find out uh, a brief overview of the Aglesco and its main objectives in the Zambian agriculture sector. Okay, so Aglisco is short for Agricultural Leasing Company Zambia Limited. Um, we've been operational since 2018. We are licensed by the Bank of Zambia. And our main objective as a company is to mechanize Zambian farms as well as agro-processing businesses to improve livelihoods and food security in the country. All right. Um, can you tell us about the range of agriculture equipment that Aglisco offers through its financial leasing services? Okay, so firstly, just to give a brief overview, uh, Aglisco as a company, we are a leasing company. We are a non-banking financial institution. So how we work is if a farmer, a small scale farmer or emergent farmer is in need of mechanization equipment and they are unable to get it on cash basis, we come in, we buy the equipment for them. Um, they have the usage and possession of the equipment while we have the legal ownership and they start to pay us back slowly. We've partnered with um, a couple of very reputable suppliers. This is uh, Saro, Gromo, Tata, um, FES, Automotive Equipment, and AgriWest. So um, some of the equipments that we finance uh, start from land preparation equipment. These are tractors, reapers, boom sprayers, um, name it. As long as it's land preparation, we range from that to irrigation equipment. We also finance agro-processing equipment. So these are um, um, hammer mills oil mills, um, maize shellers, just to name a few, as well as um, animal husbandry equipment, because we have poultry farmers out there. The agriculture sector is, is quite uh, wide. So anything that has to do with mechanization, we're here to finance it. Okay, and what are the eligibility criteria for obtaining a finance lease from Agrisco? Okay, so for individual farmers, all we need from you is to know that you are a citizen of Zambia. So this is your NRC. Um, also, because what we've seen is that the trained, if, it's, if you get a tractor, um, you have a training um, on how to operate that tractor. And then even after they have these equipments on their farms, um, they can still come back for after sales service. So in case there's a breakdown, in case there's any issue that they need assistance with, they are able to be assisted by the suppliers that we've partnered with. Okay. Now, uh, do you also provide any training or guidance to farmers on how to effectively use and maintain the equipment, especially if it's their first time using such machinery? Yes, definitely. So from the suppliers, yes, that training is provided for whatever type of equipment that they get. The suppliers do provide the training, but we've also partnered with um, a couple of stakeholders in the agriculture sector, um, one of which is AKTC in Chisamba. So we, we offer trainings to our customers. Um, these are five days trainings. We have them on a monthly basis. At the end of the training, you get your certificate. Uh, so these are trainings on tractor operation. These are also trainings on just like issues of financial literacy, um, soil cut cultivation, how to grow certain crops. Because we, as a company, we don't just want it to end at mechanization. Because now farming is not just about on a subsistence level. Farming is a business. So we want to know that our farmers are taken care of. They understand the financial side of it. They understand the, the, the crop side of it. Um, I can give an example from the 3rd of June to the 7th, we'll be having a training at AKCC, a women's only training. Um, this training is comprised of farming as a business, soil um, management, as well as vegetable production. So we, we, we cover all sectors. We're covering the mechanization aspect of it, the financial literacy aspect of it, as well as the 
the agriculture side of it like we train our farmers on how to take good care of their yields and so forth and so on okay and how flexible are the leasing teams offered by aglesco are there options for seasonal leases to accommodate uh, varying agricultural uh, cycles Yes, we are very flexible. So our tenure, once you get a lease from us, our tenure is between two to five years. Um, and then we we have seen that, okay, the, there's farmers who say agriculture is a, is a seasonal type of business. So we, it's fine if our, there are farmers who want to pay on a monthly basis because they come to us and they say, okay, for me, I can do monthly. There are others who say, for me, I can pay up every three months. Others go as far as six months and one year upfront payment. So we are not rigid to say you can strictly pay monthly or just once a year. Um, on our portfolio, we have a range of payment plans. We have monthly, six months, quarterly, yearly, and yeah. All right. Now, could you uh, maybe also provide more information about Glasgow's expense, expensive reach um, to all provinces of Zambia? Okay. So, as a company, our head office is located in Kabulonga, um, DG office park on Bishop's Road. But we have people in all parts of the country. We have people in every province in different districts. So these are people on motorbikes. These are people in vehicles because we, we want to make our process as convenient as it can possibly be for the farmers. We don't want to make it cumbersome for the farmer where if they're trying to reach us, they cannot find us. So we follow them. We actually, because we do farm visits, once you, a, a farmer starts a process with us or an agro processor, um, one of the criteria is that we have to visit you at your farm because most of the information we get from you is, is based on trust and it's based on like word of mouth, like I mentioned, because the only paperwork we will require from you is your NRC and let's say a title or a recommendation later. So most of this information, we have to come to you and get it from you. We have to say, okay, really, this is where you are farming and this is truly what you've been doing. And yeah, so we are, we are everywhere. Okay. And can you also maybe give a, a breakdown of what a cooperative needs to prepare in order to secure financing from uh, Glisco? Okay. Um, so for cooperatives, um, before I mention that, let me also mention that in the past we were not working with cooperatives. We were working with individual farmers only. But we've partnered with key stakeholders in the agricultural business, such as the, the Ministry of Agriculture. So now, as of this year, we've started the initiative to finance cooperatives. So this is the first time um, we're financing cooperatives. Yes. Okay. Um, so some, some of the, like for the requirements for cooperatives, um, we need a certificate. Obviously, we need to verify that really you are a certified cooperative and you've been in existence. And, and it's not just for the sake of, you know, you just want to get an equipment and whatnot. Um, and then after that, we need fin a financial statement from the cooperative. We need to know that um, this cooperative has been doing something. It's, it's not just a matter of people came together and decided because they've heard that Glisco is offering finance leasing and, you know, within a week they create something and they want to come to us. We want to know that really... Um, you've been doing something, you've been running a business here and there, and your finances are in check. Also for cooperatives, we require bank statements. Now, not that this is different from the individual farmers. From the individual farmers, we don't require any of these things. We don't need your bank statements, we don't need your financial statements and whatnot. But for cooperatives, considering it's a larger group of people you're dealing with, mm -hmm. so um, yes, we require that we see your bank statements for the past two years, as well as the financial statements we want for the last two years. We just see what kind of transactions that have been going on and really if the cooperative is fruitful and whatnot. Um, and then the other thing is we need a recommendation from the traditional leader. Now, this one is also the same as for the individual uh, customers because the traditional leaders play a huge role, um, especially with regards to Aglisco. We know that out there people do respect their traditional leaders and what they say counts. So we need to know that really your cooperative is of good reputation in the area in which you come from so a recommendation letter from the either your chief or your headman is very vital and then the other thing is um all the members of the cooperative need to sign and agree that really yes they they are they acknowledge that they do want a certain type of equipment and we want to make sure that it's not just an issue that was decided by one 
or two members of um, the cooperative. So we need every member's signature in the cooperative. And the last criteria is that we need um, the signature of the representative. Because at the end of the day, once we give you that equipment, it's not every person we're going to be calling. It has to be, um, I, this can be the chairperson of the cooperative or the, the managing director of that cooperative, depending on what you call that person. But we need the, the representative to say, okay, I'm the one representing the cooperative. We've all agreed. Um, this is what we want, but I'll be the one spearheading things. All right. For those of you that might be joining us right about now, this is the AgriCorp Awards program brought to you by KBN Television in partnership with Lumbani Chilenga Investments. Now, um, how does Aglesco collaborate with key stakeholders in Zambian agriculture landscape to ensure the effectiveness of its initiatives and support for farmers? Okay. Um, so like, like I said, we've um, joined hands with the Ministry of Agriculture through the Food Agriculture Organization. That's where the initiative of cooperatives came in. Um, we've partnered with organizations like I mentioned, AKTC. These are the people who offer trainings um, to our customers. We've also um, partnered with organizations like GIZ. The, they offer financial literacy trainings to our farmers because we want a situation where a farmer now knows what they are putting in and what they should get out of that business. Um, it, it shouldn't just be an issue of, yes, I'm into agriculture, I'm going to grow my soya beans. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to sell my soya beans and they say five quarter per bag. And you are not even sure what you put in or what profit you are making. So we've partnered with these um, key stakeholders to make sure that our customers get all the knowledge that they need um, in terms of agriculture. All right. yes. And how does uh, Glesco ensure that its asset finance leasing solutions are accessible and affordable to the target farmers, especially considering the financial constraints they may face? Okay. Um, so our, our target market is the small scale farmer and the emergent farmer, because these are the ones that we've seen in the agricultural sector. They have the most challenges uh, when it comes to accessing finances. So even our, our leases, even the, the partners we've, um, the suppliers we've partnered with, um, these equipments are affordable. And also when, when you look at our payments plans, when you look at our tenure and just how we are easily accessible everywhere, you can see that, okay, really we're there for the small scale farmer. Um, we've made it in a way that we don't want it to be inconvenient for our farmers. We don't want to make things difficult for them. That's why even with regards to the issue of paperwork, we made it very, our requirements, we made them very minimal because we don't want to complicate things. How many times do you go out there and you hear most of our farmers have, oh, I, I have my you know, bank account in check. I have my paperwork in check. I have all these things in check. Um, and then our fields people out there, um, we run through the finances with our customers. Because at the end of the day, somebody may say, I want a 75 horsepower tractor. And yet their field maybe requires um, a 45 horsepower tractor. So we sit down with them, we run the finances through with them, and then also our suppliers come on board to assist our farmers. They visit these farms to advise them on what may be needed. If let's say somebody wants irrigation and they were of the idea that they may need something that would cost maybe even 150000 they will do the assessments and then they'll be able to advise, say, okay, actually what you need here will only cost you about 70000 quarter. So these are some of the services that we provide. It just doesn't end at we get, you want the equipment and we finance it and it ends there. We want to start the process with you. We want to make sure that really you are well informed about the type of equipment that you want. You are well informed about the financial implications that are, are involved in the finance list. And we want to know that you have the willingness and the cap capacity to, to sustain your list. All right. Now, uh, when it comes to education effort, how does Aglesco's presence and efforts influence the perception of financial leasing as a viable means for farmers to access agriculture equipment in Zambia? Um, so our presence has, has really had a huge impact because even to date, we, we have situations where we go out there and we speak of Aglesco and 
farmers are still like, no, this is too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Like, we've never had a situation where people come to us and say they can finance this and these are the requirements. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the biggest challenges or one of the major gaps has been the issue of collateral. Because most farmers out there are just thinking, if I'm going to uh, be able to access any type of finance, be it leasing or an actual loan, yes. I will need some something, some sort of assets to give in as uh, collateral. So this has opened up the minds of farmers out there. They, they are no longer as skeptical. In the beginning, they were very skeptical because they were thinking, you know, this is one of those things where they come to us, they, they tell us things that we they think we want to hear, and they disappear. Because mm -hmm. uh, when we look at our portfolio, we finance over 1,500 farmers since we started. Um, and most of our new customers are coming from um, recommendations from our already existing customers. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a good thing to see that our farmers are seeing the impact that Agrisco has on, um, let's say, their neighbors, their friends. Um, and also one of the advantages with us is that you can have an existing contract and you can still come back for something else. So we have customers who started, let's say, with a two-wheel tractor and then their hectare has expanded, things have gone well for them, they come back for a bigger tractor, they come back for implements, and then it goes as far as value addition, they come back for agro-processing, because now they've seen that it, it's the whole package, they, they want the entire package. So I, I, I can really confidently say that our presence out there has opened up the minds of farmers, and now they're not just looking at agriculture as a whole or, you know, the cow situation oh, yeah. and whatnot, but they can really see that, okay, mechanization is the future. All right. Now, uh, lastly, regarding inclusivity and reach, are there plans or strategies in place to ensure Glasgow services continue to reach the most remote and underserved farming communities within Zambia? Yes, most definitely, um, especially with regards to our suppliers, our equipment suppliers. Um, we've partnered with suppliers that are not just based in one area. So I'm, I'm speaking, you can't just be in Lusaka, you can't just be in places like maybe Choma, or you just can't be in one part of Northern province. Um, our suppliers are everywhere. So they're in every district, they're in villages out there, they're some of the most remote villages, and even just our people. That's why we have people on bikes and people, you know, in vehicles. We are trying to reach the furthest part. Anyway, as long as you're a farmer, you're out there in Zambia, we're definitely going to reach you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Sarah Sakala, for making an appearance on the AgriCorpo Words program. Well, thank you so much for having me. All right. Yeah. So that was uh, Ms. Sarah Sakala, the Revenue Collection and Operations Manager for Aglesco Zambia, the silver sponsors of the AgriCorp Awards 2024 in the Mechanized Small Scale Farmer of the Year category. Now, remember, nominations and entries for the awards are still open for viewers watching. And if you'd like to nominate or enter your farming business, kindly visit the AgriCorp newspaper website, which is www www.agricopnews.com nominations and entries close on the 31st of May 2024. We've come to the end of uh, today's episode of the Agricop Awards. Remember, this program is brought to you by KBN Television in partnership with Lumbani Chilenga Investments. My name is Taizia Chela. We'll see you next week, same place, same time. It's time to celebrate the people with a passion, to celebrate excellence in agriculture, to celebrate farmers that brave the odds and make a difference in our country by nourishing the people and driving the economy. Share your achievements to get the recognition you deserve. Are you a farmer from anywhere across Zambia? If yes, enter or nominate your farming business for the Agriculture and Cooperatives Awards 2024 at www.agri